It wasn't no damn deer. I told him I went out with my friend and it was a catfish. A catfish? <laughs> what was his timeline talking about? Oh, that up in the club, across from Jewel's, making it rain, chilling, having a good time. How was he making it rain when he only got $10? I'm trying to tell you, and Father went to his, oh, that's the whole drink. So I don't know what. When I asked that boy, well, I thought it was a boy, it was actually a girl. I asked him, could I ask some questions? You know what the food told me? What? It'll take me too long to put on my makeup face. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, hell no. Yeah. I thought you was a young man, buddy. <laughs> yeah, How the hell? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm fine with these Asians. Are you serious? No, I swear, for real, like, for you real, for real. I did, I thought it was a boy. I was like, oh, my bad young man, young lady, I mean, yeah. excuse me. I thought you just been rude. Well, you know these people out here, that's what they do. They just on that jackrabbit for no reason. The old man just pushed me. And you know, cause I, yeah, yeah, but you know, cause I, I'm from the South. I had to go and say, uh, I'm gonna let that go. I ain't never pushed the old person. That's not good. That, that won't be like Christ. Okay. <laughs> but he just shoved me into the table. I was like, oh, my knees, nigga. The old man. He said, move, youngster. So he said something. And I wasn't in the in the room. I'm gonna find one of these Asians though. I'm gonna hop try to ass to one of these chairs. And I'm gonna say, you're gonna get some locks today whether you want them or not. Okay. And you're gonna be beautiful. With your pretty shoes. Look at these niggas, they don't even care. Change the name from this place from New York to Boss Hog City. <coughs> no hospitality. Just stack on stack. Move. I quit. Now, we got a tragedy. She not trying to have a ball fade back here, but she is on her way. But she came in to me when I came to New York. And we started assessing some things. Did you see that? Did you see how thin that was? I wasn't even no point of me touching that. She came in and I associated the scalp and I saw what was going on. That is extreme breakage. That is twisting too tight, dry products, mud, Dirt, rocks, seashells, and all that other crap people put in, calling it quote unquote natural. That stuff ain't natural, that stuff ain't healthy, and it is breaking you people out because it is drying out the hair and the hair can't breathe. Put it in your mouth and swallow it and see how you feel. Your ass won't be able to breathe either. So now that scalp is just asthma attacking and holding its breath, turning blue, looking retarded. And the hair has broken and come off. But follicular level, it's not dead. It's not messed off. It's not screwed over. And at this point, it can and will be fixed. Today, we're going to fix this. We're going to tell her what's going on. And we're going to make this happen right now. I was basically explaining the situation about my hair. That it was going out. And I was thinking about um, cutting it off. I've had it for a long time. I've actually cut it off. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, it gets to the point where it's becoming more of a burden than it is of you enjoying it. And I was just going to... Are a burden? Yeah, yeah, I think so, because it's going down. Yeah. So, it seems like you have dryness and thinning and somebody was supposed to be too tight. Well, I've had some of that experience with people doing my hair, so I've decided that... I'm ready to fight. I didn't get a whole more. You want to go whoop some money? <laughs> I'm, out, I'm out about this thing. I mean, it's whatever. I got the shoes on and everything. What is it? Being on the aisle, honestly. Oh, let's go. So, I ain't got to do what to do. So I decided that I wasn't going to let anybody put their fingers in my hair anymore. Uh, but I'm still trying to find a way to promise because I know that my hair is going to dry. No matter what type of oil I do, no matter what I do, it gets Are you putting the oil to the scalp or the hair? Both. Both? Both? Associated more to the scalp than the hair. Than the hair. You have dreadlocks, don't you? Your hair has no velocity, which means it's not taking the oil. So put on the scalp and allow it to go to the part that's still attached to the scalp. That's because like I was saying there, this is a very risky hairstyle when you just no, no. add a bunch of weight onto your eyes, onto the rim of it, without any support of it. Or it will just fall smooth on the floor, you'll be in the bed touching the lobster, maybe all the way your legs, you wouldn't even know. I have a bad feeling about the hair. You got a bad feeling? Well, I don't know about the hair, but I'm cutting it and from the process, so... I see your rocks not having that rice crispy treatment. The snap crackling pop is not working. 
And that is from the rock pop up that I just twisted it myself and that's why I sit down with that. You see, your, your locks will fall off, but it's not saying that your hair is messed like that. You still have edges. You know, all the reason why it tells me that you're, you still need to stand the body is still working well. But, like going over this here right here, that ain't do you not good. That's too tight. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like yes, you just need to hit it right there. We'll go straight down the line and get through with that guy. It ain't that serious. How long do you think it's going to take for my hair to grow back? Your hair's going to go half an inch to a full inch every 30 days. So I give you, say, let's give it about the most 9 to 16 weeks. That's up to 4 months. You don't leave that area around. Don't touch it off by the knife. Okay, you just want to feel it in the hair bone. Yeah, that's what I thought. Don't feel it. Yeah, okay. You're going to be out of education. Rubbing all that friction. You ever see friction? Yeah. Friction take the hair out too. And some of them sew in, but they braid that hair in and not taking care of it by putting it in the right way. The friction of that thread will snap it out too. What's going on right here? What do you see right there? Right I know I recently had a baby. Well, oh, Lord, I So my whole family was out of that. Yeah. yeah. And I was breastfeeding. So, Ooh, yeah. 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 So, first time I had Lorraine. Lady, yes. You took my ring. She took it all out of you. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. But we're not going to do too much twisting now. now. I don't recommend this style for you right now. I don't want to put that much more tension and body pants into your hands. Okay. We're just going to twist it and let it sit there. And we're going to put you on, like I was telling you, that 16 week regimen. To so where you're going to have to do this repeatedly for the next four months. Once a month is enough. You don't want to do too much damage to it. And if it starts to come a loose, let it come a loose, let it rebuild itself. And then we're going to start back cultivating and through the ways to make it be healthy. Because that planet ain't going to work for you. I don't, I don't know how to do that. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I have some T1 edges all in those guys. And you're coming back in February? Yeah, I'm going to be back in February. Now, I want you to pay attention to something, especially all you stylists and cosmetologists. Salon owner, wannabes, barbers, whatever you do that you stand behind a chair and offer a service. I want you to pay attention to something. Now, we all that went to school, we know damn well how to drape a client, what to drape a client with. I had to drape a client with a damn bounty paper towel. In the natural hair industry, we all know <clears throat> that you are servicing wet hair. Hair that holds on to so much damn water, it should be in the sponging, cleaning your bathtub and your toilet business. But it's not. But I am subjected to having to face this challenge with myself and my clients. And I did not know how to handle that. We went through so many of them damn paper towels. And when I tell you she kept producing them, I was like, what What did you do? You you found big lots go on sale with Bounty or something? They just gave you the shit for a penny, a, a roll? Like, this is, this is ridiculous. Who has this much damn paper towel? But, I mean, <laughs> old girl, she had a master. Like, all of them, they could do that shit. I couldn't. I wasn't even about to play that game. So, the next time they see this player, this player will have some towels of his own. So, I'm going to have so many damn towels. They're going to swear to God. I got some Asian lady in my basement weaving them things with her feet and her toes. I don't have time to be playing these games. Bounty was not introduced to me when I went to Franklin Beauty School. It has not been introduced to me as the millennium has progressed and it will not be taken on and attained by me. I do apologize if I have disrespected you, Bounty. You can kiss my ass and then you will not be a part of my business. Ready? All right, all right, all right, all right. What we got here is a monstrosity. They're pissing me off. She had long hair. She basically combed her locks out years ago and let her hair rejuvenate, conditioned and healthy and everything. You see, she has a long, long hair, but she wants these smaller. Whoever did these felt like she needed locks that was the size of somebody's thumb. And that part is ridiculously big. Look at that. That, that doesn't make any sense. Your part is this big, but your, your lock is this small. 
So that's that's not healthy. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna transition this into a smaller lot. But what I was letting her know is that there's possibility of breakage because of what's gonna happen and how it's gonna happen to take these apart to make them smaller. But she's down with the cars and we're gonna make it happen. Now tell me who is this? What happened now? What happened? I'm not gonna say who did it. <laughs> Can't do that. Because he's really good. I mean, well, when he was maintaining the locks, he was. What was he using to maintain you? Nothing. Uh, hey. <laughs> when he was maintaining the locks, all those, but I had started my own locks the first time around, so I had them the size that I wanted. So by the time I went to actually have someone maintain my locks, my hair was already locked. Mm -hmm. I was maintaining them for my, by myself for about a year and a half. Okay. I just couldn't, I didn't know how to start locks with long hair, so that's why I went to somebody. Long hair? Yeah, at the time when I had this done, my hair was in my mid back. Mm -hmm. Have you had a lot of breakage? Um, since I put these in? Period. Um, the first year that I that I combed out my locks, I had pretty good. After that, I didn't. I just really deep treated every month. Mm -hmm. I washed. It worked. Um, sometimes with Manoy from Carol's Daughter. Um, I mean, I was very selective. I used mostly cleansing creams because my hair was very blonde, mm -hmm. so I couldn't really use a lot of hard shampoos. Mm -hmm. And I just made sure I just treated my hair. And I mostly did braid outs. What you about the dress? You have a soft curl pattern. I have a real soft curl pattern. The back is much looser than the front. Is it not? I don't know. It's the other way around. Serious? That's what you. Oh, most people. Most yeah. people looser in the front. I know. I was Sorry. always jealous by that. Why? You because. Want to tie in the front. Because when I used to do twist outs, I used to have to braid the front to get it to have the same curl pattern as the back. Because the uh, it was so loose in the back, it just didn't work. So what do you? What should go for these now? I want them to be medium size. I don't want them to be huge. I want them to kind of resemble what I had almost three years ago. Actually, it would have been three years next week of since I combed out my locks. What made you come on down? I saw women with big natural hair and I wanted that. And I had my locks for seven years and everyone was like, are you crazy? Your locks are long and beautiful. Okay, I agree. Yeah, I was stupid, but I wanted uh -huh. to have big hair. I have no shame. Oh, I like, I want to be you got to be <laughs> Come on now. Hey. Back there talking about Look at her hat. Hey, how are you trimming them ears? Talking to you, boo. Yeah. My little girlfriend. You know. How are you trimming your ears? You know? <laughs> Why? You don't like me, do you? I never said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. But you have some, so much hair. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be watching what you gonna do with it down the line? I don't know. You don't know? Right. What you thinking about? You don't know? Okay. When your birthday? April. April what? April. Oh, no wonder you look at me like you finna kill me. <laughs> you a killer too. <laughs> Lord, when your birthday? High five. <laughs> December what? December 28th. Oh, December 28th, that's my daughter's birthday. When's your birthday? Oh, September 30th. Okay. I know, like real well. You say November 19th. You was a What? Who's that? Who's the November 19th? I'm a little first. Oh. Okay, so you sexy too. I'm sorry. Shake it and like it, buddy. So you be around here popping a lot, you know what you learned today? Oh my goodness, I've learned so much that starting lots. Are you confident more with it? Very much so. And I can't wait to get your product in my hand. I'll be back to very soon. Me too. I'm just still practicing now. You see that's just coming y'all? Yes. You better manipulate the hell out of you, too. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. No that. reason in this world why y'all should. Oh, she just cracked me up, boy. <laughs>
Hold on. Boom. <laughs> How you good? Go for it. Let's see. That's right. And you holding the camera. I'm going to give you credit because you holding the camera. I'm going to give you credit because you holding the camera. That's what's up. That's what's happening. Uh, hey, how come the wild always kill us? I bet she a kid. Uh, <laughs> no, she, she be fighting, don't she? My little boo. She cute now. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. I know she a killer. Them quiet ones be them time bombs. Don't give her a quarterback on that quick change. I bet she'll catch you smooth at me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Miss Tracy. Do you hear that, Miss Tracy? Uh, she has a bad mouth, Miss Tracy. Which one? Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> My kids no more. No more? You don't hit them no more? I no. said yesterday. No. I wish my mama had that philosophy. Tell her to keep her damn hands to herself. <laughs> I don't hit my kids no more. I, it's, it's, um, time past that now. It's time to talk. Over kids. I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> Believe me, I've, I've done plenty of that. <laughs> I still have the plastic bag. <laughs> 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 I know that's true. Something wrong with my mama. Yeah. 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 Right for her. Take it, take it. She don't keep her hands to herself. Oh, abuse. I always tell my like domestic violence. Uh -oh. <laughs> I love domestic violence. Give me a blue eye, baby. Oh, my God. That means you love know me. I'm dysfunctional. I like that crazy stuff. You better like, cuss me out, baby. Be joking on me like, yes. Yes. <laughs> Scorpio. Oh, you love me, don't you? Scorpio, that's what I know about that joking. You want to tell me? I like the message, baby. Don't let me be light scared. Give me all kind of blue, green, blue bruises in my face. Oh That's my why she's really hanging on that long. She be cussing me out too. <laughs> Don't let the cute face fool you. <laughs>
Five, ten. You I think if she jumped that, if she jumped that, we won't have to worry about her tomorrow? Yep. Okay, I got time. Trump about here. I don't have time for this. You wanna text? That's another thing. People text another level of business. Keep texting, fuck. Hi, you don't know me, but I wanna ask you six questions. You don't ask me shit. You don't want nothing. <laughs> Not what's that? Jesus Christ. Don't put me a lock and stitch it back here. And as soon as it slides off, sure, I'ma blow your phone up. I'ma look at it. Just uh, tie it up every night. Here is your oil. You're going to spray to it twice a week. Okay. And you come in every three weeks just to get it retwisted. Every three weeks. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm grateful to you having long hair and being patient, unlike some of these other Jezebel. No, I uh, appreciate your speed, man. <laughs> Knock it out real quick. That's now this is lock extension ready. I can stick my hand in here and you will not see fingers no more. Don't come in here with this right here. Tell me, can I get some extensions? I'm gonna start cussing you out. I'm gonna look at you like you straight steak. How long you been going to Uber? You went through hell. <laughs> you didn't sent yourself through hell and high water with your hair. Now, what's going on with you? Huh? You can't stop that. Damn. <laughs> now I just did what I had to do to get a healthy so I can have it. Oh, do you want it? Yeah. I want it, but I just don't feel like going through what I went through first time. No, that's it. Because you cheat. <laughs> Between you and your girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put these little worms in there if you want them in there. But I'm telling you, I'm glad you got help because I can't, I can't entertain no more of these text messages or these cancel patients coming to here, paying for the service 15, 16 times. Some should tell you, you, you should sit down somewhere if you got to keep reinstalling something. I can't ask you, Reese, if it ever happened to her. You know, she too ghetto. I mean, she too ugly and bougie. She, she not ghetto. <laughs> Harry never fell out on nobody. Yeah. Nah. How long you want these to be? Shoulder. I go so fast, I can already finish this show. I just want them long Stand enough that I can do something. Right now, you are right, right above bra strap. You're right there. That good? Yeah, that's fine. That's cool. All right. Where you get that dress from? It'll make you look fine. <laughs> 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 no, I'm going to get you some long hair. You're going to go hit the screen. <laughs> I see you wore this dress. I thought you was trying to be comfortable. You were here trying to be sensitive. Go ahead. He's saying that's right. Um, it's sixty-five and up. It just depends on the length. About how long? How long is your hair now? Now that I stuck, it's coming every three weeks, I believe. First time is going to come in the month. Oh, well then it, your, your price will be 65 And then after the month, you're going to come back, and that's when we're going to start doing the real stuff. Okay. And I'll be up there having a whole bunch um, of Just calm, just calm calls. I am no longer married. All right. That's even worse. No, it's not. I take care of ready to mango. That's where these dresses girl. come from. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, she said I'm no longer married. <laughs> What you divorced for? Because it was not supposed to happen in the first place. Oh, Lord. When is his birthday? He's a Gemini. And when is yours? I'm a Sagittarius. Girl, what the hell was y'all thinking? <laughs> <laughs> what, what was y'all thinking? I don't know. I can be honest and tell you why it started. Uh -huh. The sex was good. <laughs> in the beginning. Yeah. That's where it came from. <laughs> Them Geminis, when they get into their emotional side, no, it's, it goes down. They're like, da da da. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to come out the clothes, though. Look at Kanye West. Mm. We so ready. We said, I got off my baby mama, became famous from her own home movie. I would never tell the world that shit. I would never, ever, ever in my life. So wait, you, you must have held out a relationship. You, you the fireball. <laughs> It was, it was just not supposed, I mean, besides the being a Gemini, yeah, but I mean, besides just the being a Gemini, he's just like, he has a lot of issues. Okay, is a kid? Very. He's fat. 
Uh, he got bigger. Oh, you gotta wash that. And then, uh, you know how fast you get fat? <laughs> you know how that happens? <laughs> you better wash that, dude. <laughs> that shit gets scary, dog. I'm trying to tell you. And then, uh, what's his favorite food? Cornflakes. You know, actually, believe it or not, he, he doesn't eat that much. You are lying. No, I'm <laughs> serious. Because I cook. You don't? Yeah. You don't got damn plate. Yeah, that's what I What you want? Oh, I like her. <laughs> I like her. You ain't asked for nothing either. Oh, I know y'all like You were talking to that nigga like that? Because you know I'm dysfunctional. We got into it too. You can slap him. I thought y'all went to I thought y'all was divorced. I know, but he, So what y'all get into it for? Cause he be calling me worried about what the hell I'm doing. And you be answering? We have a child. I don't care if you have a pool. <laughs> that space is over. No more. Well, no, that's why I got into it. I <laughs> What kind of dog's available? Uh, my youngest is uh, oh my seven. Y'all got your Well, now my oldest is from a previous relationship. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> you made him cry. You broke him heart. He told his mama on you? No, his mama and his sister don't even get along with him. Why? I think I'll never do what he's supposed to do. Hold on, let me see what this is. They've been calling me five times today. What's up? What's happening? <laughs> you laughing. Nah, you, you came from a nigga. You supposed to call 16 times. You ain't been here yet. Yeah. 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 When you trying to come? So you'll be here by 7.30? I'm going to save the number right now. You don't come to the other because you want to come to the other and take <laughs> What happened to what? Oh, I changed my number. People kept getting the number. How would you like me? You were best friends. <laughs> Alright, I got you. Bye. You didn't want to tell me, let me hang your other number. Maybe you don't even throw a poor I don't think you have no other number. Who is that, you? You, you know it. You keep the same number you have. What's that, boy? You know I'm so grateful to you. I'm so grateful to you though Cause these old raggedy slum bums I had helping out with this Just dropped my whole system My whole business see, I see why folks don't have shit in life I see why they just hungry, homeless Upside down, backwards Can you read all of my handwriting? Look at that handwriting That is hideous Ooh, yes. Wait a minute, hold on <laughs> You had a little too much emphasization in that But all of this is going right Uh huh that's what's happening. So we won't get no more emails. Damon, I ordered with you. And that's why you don't do business with black people no more. What's the hardest part of all of this? Reading this light. <laughs> you can kiss my butt. <laughs> you better. Keep playing with me. <laughs> Nigga, I was not born to be the calligraphy king. I don't give a damn. You always got a joke. <laughs> On next week's episode. This client had the nerve to bring this wig in. Talking about cutting it like Nicki Minaj. Synthetic mess. I had another client attempt to do a takedown on some locks. She was seven years in the game, and this is where she is now. Clients yep. just be lying. She came in here with all of this trash. She's talking about the Grammys. She ain't won no goddamn Grammys. She ain't won no Grammy. She needs to go get some ice so her panty lines will stop showing. <laughs> that was not me.